for a small town Idaho gal whose greatest claim to fame is cooking up meth and boasting of one day becoming the drug cartel queen of the Pacific Northwest, Sky Hansen sure has an inflated sense of entitlement. I think she really believes Gary Loesch owes them that inheritance. And like a couple of pit bulls, she and Tina aren't going to let go until they get what they want. Gary Loesch is no fool. He knows how devious his daughter can be. He isn't sure just how far she and Skye will go, but his instincts tell him that danger is looming. My mother and father and I were headed to dinner, and we were driving by his attorney's office. He pointed over to the building and told me that uh, if anything were to ever happen to me, go see that man right there. I said, nothing's going to happen to you. What are you worried about? He goes, well, just if something happens to me, go see that man right there. So I just didn't think anything of it. Those words would soon come back to haunt Gary's son. He left for work early doing the paper route, and we were getting up to go to work. And my mom said, your dad hasn't been heard of or seen from for hours. Most of Gary Loesch's papers are never delivered that morning. A search for the missing father and husband begins immediately. The morning on November the 13th of 1995, our office received a call from a citizen, and he noticed a car. He noticed that the car was running. Uh, he noticed that the headlights were on. Oh, we were looking for the car in the ditch. Or dad had a heart attack or, or something, because he was quite ill before that time. Instead, the 56-year-old grandfather finds himself in the crosshairs of a sinister plot. 